Hello everyone. We begin upon the high seas. Ooh, yes we are. It's hot and heavy. The first time we really get an introduction to naval combat in this game. Now, this is pretty much, in a nutshell, how naval combat works. Uh, you hold L1 to aim, you see where the sh cannons are generally going to go with the white line, and um, if a ship is badly damaged enough, you can use swivel guns with triangle or whatever button it is on PC or um, Xbox, and you can take out smaller boats. Or, for larger boats, you attack their weak points. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of similar to the swivel guns were in three, but this game is a little bit different than three, I guess, because a lot of this is more textual based on what you you're looking at for combat. Oh, sorry if anybody can hear that. I can't, but it's not that big a deal. I mean, I had a la very loud dog barking last time did a video, so, you know. Yeah, I think I've got a, I, I think I have a package that has a fucking amiibo in it, sitting at my door. I'll wait, I can wait for an amiibo. Fucking amiibos. Now, this mission in particular, um, it's sort of introducing you to all sorts of things that can happen when you're sailing. Um, generally, water spouts are pretty rare, they won't show up all the time, but, um, there is one place in particular you're guaranteed to run into them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that place. And and it's one of the and it happens to be one of the best moments of the game, if you ask me. I agree. Because it is actually genuinely pretty hard to do that. Yes. Um. Come on. This is our introduction to the uh, boat combat, but it is certainly not everything that is to naval combat in this game. As you get upgrades, more aspects of the fight of naval combat are introduced. This is just sort of the, this is sort of the bare minimum of naval co naval gameplay. Well, there's one or you get two more weapons, really, but well, all three. And the brace command. If you're if an enemy is about to attack you with cannonballs, or you're running into a rogue wave. Brace, you will still take damage, but you will take less damage for some reason. Yeah. Well, theoretically, it's because everybody's kind of just hiding on the side, so it's like killing as many people on the ship. I guess. It's, it, but it's not like the ship is any, it's not, it's going to be made safer by all the guys bracing. So it's just, Look, there's one of those sunken ships, so we just... We cannot do anything uh, about that for quite some time, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, the one thing with the rugways and all that is... Um, in order to actually get through them, you should hit them head on because it minimizes your profile that you're going to go through them with. So right. you basically take no damage; you can go through head on. If, you, if any other way, it gets really you can take a lot out of you. But we've managed to escape the treasure fleet yep. after only. And eight. I think we saw one of them sink after only a token resistance from the Spanish. Yes, but it's not like they sink were prepared. By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! Taking this one home. Just because he wants to. Um. 
pretty fun. And mission. also because he does that with fucking he does that with sea shanties as well. So yeah, turns his crew into marvelous. I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as my own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. Uh, all of the major characters, aside from the like Templar the antagonist, powder, they're pistol. much different people by the end of the game. The second holster, if I can. Yeah. <laughs> a lot changed <laughs> in the time start. between the Why game starting and the end. Can we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning. I'm not I entirely sure I why... I... Oh, I didn't want to interrupt this dialogue between Atawale and Kenway, but um, we've got quite a sail anyway, so it was kind of unnecessary. Yeah. Oh, and uh, in case there's any curiosity, um, regular cannon shot in this game is infinite. You can't run out of it. Correct. But fighting the harder ships in this game, um, regular cannon shot is not that valuable. Yeah. So it's a good idea to keep supplied, even though it's not really important right now. But don't forget about your jack doors. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. And there is unlockable sails for the jack dog, turning it into different colors and patterns. Uh, and you can also put figure edits and different wheels yep. because, god damn it, um, I really wanted to go all out. And ran the damn thing! And on the ocean, uh, there are stranded people and supplies to pick up, pick, get near them with, and pick them up with square. That's about all there is to that. Yeah, somebody throws a line out there and grabs them. So. And this is one of the many, many, many small islands that have just a single treasure chest or an animus fragment. Yep. <sighs> and there are actually some DLC sales, including uh, patterns modeled after uh, Altair and Ezio. Not Connor, that would be weird. Yeah, that would be odd. I may get that. I haven't decided yet. Uh, they're pretty nice. I think they also come with um a pair of Altair swords. So, yes, there are thirty of these fucking Anos fragments just sitting around the open world like this. They are annoying as hell. Yep, that's the big reason I did not get all of them. Uh, my when I was first going through this game. I don't think there's a single reason to ever show getting them on camera again. Yeah. <laughs> because they just... There's a lot of them, and none of them are really interesting. Uh, uh, people complain about the collectible some unity. So what, there's like 150 fucking ribbons? You know, I think Revelations probably did the collectibles the best. Um, with the ma you could buy ma if you didn't want to look for them, you could just buy maps to find them. Um, you could tag the data fragments with Eagle Vision. You can, yeah, you can do about the same with um. Yeah, I mean, you could do that that in this game, and you can do that in. Actually, you can't buy the. Ah, the taking a look at the overworld. Now, the uh, the overworld is divided into uh, seven or eight different parts. The easy, the medium, difficult. Uh, tagging is 
the relative quality of the enemies you'll run into around there. So these yeah. southern parts of the map, uh, they have the toughest ships lurking around. And yep. those little right. locked red squares, those are forts. If yep. you want to, you can attack the forts. If you take them over, you can use it as a little base in the area. Yep. Um, gen generally speaking, this game... The easiest areas are up north of um, Cuba. Yeah. All the hardest areas are just south of Jamaica. Right. Um. There is one fort in particular that a lot of people have trouble with, and it gave me a lot of trouble the first time I went through the game, but um, it's actually really fun. Yeah. And in addition to Spanish ships floating around, there are British ships near Jamaica. Um, as a general rule, they will not fight you on the open seas, but if you start a fight with them, all of the allied ships around will fight you. And yeah. sometimes you can even see the British and Spanish ships fighting each other. You can join, every you can join in on the fun, or um, just watch. And every once in a while you can even find the fucking uh, Dutch ship as well. Huh. Oh, I think that might only be in a couple... Maybe that's more mission specific than it is. I know. And because nobody asked for this to come back, they put crafting yeah. back in the game. It's like I'm playing Far Cry 3 all over again. In fact, I am playing Far Cry 3 all over again because they share a lot of the same fucking enemies. Neat. Pretty sure there's a fucking database entry that makes, a, make that, makes that joke, but... Now, these little letters, I guess you'd call them, they're actually written in, like, period language. They're written by... Should uh, I say who it is? Uh, not yet. We're, we don't have enough information who the author is yet. Uh, alright. Now, um, yeah, hunting wildlife. In three, if you killed animals with the pistol, it degraded the quality of the fur or something. If you killed them with the bow, it was fine. Yeah. But this game does not have a bow and arrow, so killing is pistol with is just is just fine. Yeah. I mean Far Cry three or four, killing with a pistol or a gun. You you would damage the skin and if you did a clean kill with a knife or whatever what have you, um, you'd just get double skins. Which can be very useful. For some of the rare enemies. Rare. In contrast, or you could set, or you could set fire to a fucking uh, elephant neat. in Far Cry Four. Neat. Uh. Now, as as is most things, you can tag animals with eagle vision. Um, most animals will run away if they see you. Some will at actually attack you. Just like the uh, bear island in Assassin's Creed Three, where there is a whole island out in the wilderness that had nothing but bears on it. And this this bobcat place. is currently running into a tree. Hey, I. <laughs> oh. Some animal. You have a bone. You can make it. Oh, no. Yeah. Now, in contrast to actually buying upgrades. Um, hunting animals is a way you get armor and uh, capacity upgrades in this game. You hunt animals, you craft things, you get better armor, more pouches or something. That's about it. Yeah, yeah there's a very long set, and there's actually a whole ton of enemies, so... Whole type, whole different... Yeah. Lots of different types of animals. God damn it. Yeah, there is, there, 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 there is a lot of uh, poaching in this... Well, it's not really poaching, I guess. There's a lot of animal hunting in this game. Um, all animals can be very rare. They can be monkeys hiding up in trees. And late in the game, you even... Well, not late. Uh, mid About, I don't know, midway through the game, you get harpoons. And then you can start fighting animals on the open seas, like sharks and whales and stuff. Such. I have one request for you. Yes. Call me Ishmael. Thank you. I, have, I believe I can do that. There's another Animus Fragment. Um. I will say the uh, tree running mechanics are still are back from 3 and they still look pretty good. 
they look a lot better in this game, to be honest, because as much as I like 3, they were just the map just never lent itself to this in a lot of places. Right. And this, this is how, this is the story of how Ken White killed all the ocelots on Avico Island. It's a story that needs yeah. to be told. Yes. Now, Coming back somewhere from Exturbo Entertainment. The iguanas are mostly hiding out on the uh, beach. <clears throat> Sometimes it can be kind of hard to see the animals, but that's why you have eagle vision. Yeah. Or I slap down a fucking hunting syringe and get everybody in 100 meters of me. Wait, that's Far Cry 3. Um. Some animals you can run down, some animals will run away very quickly. And, uh. Yeah. There are some super rare animals that only appear on one island, and you hunt those to make all sorts of neat things. Like you and you did. Yeah. Tag some iguanas, so we just need to get the last data fragment. You have to sh oh, you have to shoot an iguana. Yeah, I nailed. I can go I make a nice swallow. I nailed that guy. Yeah. As with most things, uh, the pistols, usually you sacrifice power for range or in reverse, um, but the best set of pistols in the game is to kill uh, and has very long range. Yeah, um, the pistols vary around, but that particular, well, it has one of my, it takes a while to get that particular set. Yeah, it's, you won't get it, you won't get the best pistols until pretty late in the game. Yeah. Oh, uh, you finally got to the viewpoint. So, in this game, um, unlike Assassin's Creed Revelations, if you get a viewpoint in an area, it'll tell you where everything is in that area. So you didn't have to go running around and go tagging everything looking for it, you could have just found all the viewpoints and what automatically uh, spotted everything. Yeah. This also kind of works like the same on the world map. Uh, that was... Yeah. How long did it take you to kill that one? Uh, I don't know. I was, it's, well, the thing is, I kind of wanted this video and what will be the next video to be a single video. But when I yeah. edited it, it together, uh, the, video, the resulting video was more than 50 minutes long. So, yeah, I just yeah. split them in two. Yeah, so, um, okay, any, anyway, um, where the hell was I going with that? I will say that I will say the crafting is a lot better in this game than in three because in three there was this whole ridiculous Mickey Mouse process to do it, but in this game, yeah, in this game it's just as simple as going into the menu and upgrading right. stuff. And so you can basically see what you need. Yeah, and, and and the game is spoiling things we'll get later in the game. Yeah, it's it's very open about what you have. Any anyway, uh, where the fuck was I going with this? So. When you the same sort of thing applies when you are in a town. If you sink all the viewpoints, you will be told where everything is. If you do it on the open seas, you'll be told where all the stupid little one-off animus fragments and chests are as well. So, but that takes a while um, because it's literally every viewpoint in an area, and some of them are harder to get and are on fortresses. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, in Unity. You can buy them. For oh, hey, I didn't. I didn't even know. Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. As, as an attack right away, they only you only get the chance to use them if, in a, if a weak spot has been exposed in a ship. That is not... That is not true. You can, you, you can manually fire them? 
uh, during the boarding process. Huh. I must have completely forgotten about that. I thought you needed to expose a weak point before they would fire. Um, if you're doing straight naval combat, yes. If you have finished that stage of combat and moved on to trying to board, board the guy, you are in fact allowed to use the swivels to take out people on the enemy deck. Huh. It is really great for taking out all the fucking heavies on a deck, by the way. Hey, but it also takes oh, hey, it takes hey, a little bit up, of. Uh, We've got the first sea sea shanty. They actually released a uh, whole soundtrack for the sea shanties in this game. They had they had the regular game soundtrack for all the music in the game, and then another soundtrack for all the sea shanties. And the red zone, as is usual, Assassin's Creed stuff, uh, automatically ships will automatically go after you. They're no longer you can no longer a person go in a. Well, what would be the best way to describe it? Um, in red, they skip they skip yellow and automatically go into alert like yeah. usual. But it's not like you have anything to fear from the ships prowling these waters. They are very weak. Yeah. Go on, Captain Queernubs. Tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy -o. Back to your master. Aye. We was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. But, um, as you can see, the pirates have more than a little run of the place. Yep. But this is our first, this is our second major city, of which there is one more, Kingston, Jamaica. And for some reason, when this game first was like announced and you it said you could go to Havana, Nassau, and Kingston, I thought they were talking about the Kingston in Canada. Kingston, Ontario. I don't know why I thought that. Um it's a very good question. I don't quite know the answer to that. I think it might lie in your head. I, I, I honestly <laughs> never thought... Before this game came out, I never heard of Kingston, Jamaica. The only Kingston I ever heard of was the one in Canada. Oh, hey, right now the song playing is called The British Empire. Um, it's probably... It's one of my favorite town themes in this entire... in the whole Assassin's Creed series. Yeah. It's very powerful sounding. This game has a lot of good songs on it. Um, so, this is Nassau. Um, there's at least one anachronistic area to this place. Yep, and I'll be passing by it before I do much more. And in the background, there's a big fort overlooking the town. The British are there. Um, they don't like us being there. They attack on site if we go there. Yeah, that's about the only restricted area, though. Uh, but basically, there's Kingston, uh, not Kingston, Nassau, and Nassau. There's basically on the eastern side of the island. There's a little town around the fort, and then everywhere else there's a plantation in the back, and then there's this big old swamp. Yep. And if you go right in, the and side. if you go in the swamp, crocodiles will attack you. Of course, you need crocodile skin for upgrades, so yeah. let's go hunting crocs. We'll get around uh, to it. By the way, it's this 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 it's this fast travel point I was talking about before. Ah, a couple last the video tour ago, where there's in fact something you can do. You, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. He's trying to get away. Nobody saw you. Now, just like in 3, uh, you have rifles that you can pick up from either guards or just in places like this. Uh, the rifle's pretty powerful. It's more powerful than the pistols generally. And if you, could, if you manage to get behind two people, you can actually uh, impale two guys at one time with them. Yep. Uh. More. Good, old, 
Good old Peter Beckford. Yes. Uh, I can't remember if you can do two headshots at once with this. Um, the answer is no. The answer is no. Unfortunately. Yeah. Grenade coming! Uh, go. Ah, first grenade. Uh, these guys can throw grenades. Throw grenades. Yeah. Grenades. Biggest problem with grenades is usually that they just knock you down, allowing other guys to get it hits on. And since it's yep. some, some of the uh, rifle we're introducing kills, new air holes to these guys. Some Don't of, worry. Some of the rifle kills are pretty uh, brutal. Yeah. Well, it's got a bayonet, so. Yeah. Oh, can we just toss, chuck that thing? How do we get on top of this building? You'd think it would be a simple yeah. matter. Yeah, just Ooh. going up the post and whatnot. Rifles are pretty nice, but um, it's just they're too slow to be a really good uh, fighting weapon. Yeah, the. I mean, they're decent in one or two places, but the problem is, is that they have a single shot, which means they're good for taking out a single enemy, and then after that, you're stuck fighting with with it. Yeah. Um, because you can't reload in... Reloading in combat is not the best option in this game. No. And especially not since your very first hunting mission has you make a second set of pistol, a second pistol holster, so now you can fire two pistol shots. Yeah. Instead of just one. So the, the rifle is more of a novelty weapon than really anything very useful, but... It does, yeah. it does have that added scope on it, allowing you to shoot a little more precisely. Yeah. So that can be nice sometimes. Yep. Uh, now there's a chest somewhere in here. I hear it. That animus shimmering noise they've had since like 2, I think. It's been there for, for the longest time, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right here. Make the noise go away. It's like fucking green stars in Mario Galaxy 2. There is there is actually a reason I'm playing online right now. Um, but I don't think we'll get to it this video. But just it, to get social chess. It's actually for the uh, alternate outfits, Etsy O'Connor and uh, I don't think those are available if you're offline. Hmm. I've never really tried it. Yeah. So. So over here we have a plantation one, but we haven't done plantation missions yet, yeah, so... there's no real point to go in there. You can do a lot of stuff in this game before when it starts off with, but... You un uh, and it, it's one of my problems with the pacing. It's... you get to that point in the Assassin's Creed series where you can go all the way around the map, but then they're still going to throw out tutorial missions for stuff you've already done yeah. at that point. So that's why there's no real, real point to going uh, anywhere but NASA with this. Oh, hey, here's, here's the big anachronism in Jamaica. Yeah. And our friends at Abstergo will explain why in this database entry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no fudging dates. Suck it, Sean. <laughs> so yeah, this particular thing wasn't built until um, seventeen the seventeen seventies. Um, but it's if it was built in honor of Queen Victoria, they're still about thirty years off, uh -huh. I think. So that can't be right. Uh, yeah. But that's it's... probably just a local legend kind of thing. It's yeah, it, it, it's an anachronistic yeah. to say the least. Funny, I mean, it's not nearly as anachronistic of me being able to run American troops out of where waving the stars and stripe out of forts in yeah Assassin's Creed Three in the seventeen six seven the you know the seventeen yeah. sixties but whatever yeah it's it's assassin's creed you missed the big realism train a long time ago there was actually somebody complaining about that in the 
the Unity thread, about how Eagle, how Eagle Vision isn't actually a supernatural sense in the slightest. It's just assassins being really, really well trained. And I'm like, see, I don't really buy that because Eagle Vision can like pick pick up the intention of people. Like it's predicting things that will happen in the future from these guys. So it's got to be something supernatural. For the love of God, it's Assassin's Creed. Yeah. We miss the realism boat. I don't know when. When exactly did we miss the realism boat? Here? A long time ago. Was was it was it the first game when we were in a giant sci-fi machine? Was it the second game where people fucking? Now the hidden blades. The the entire point of the goddamn game was so you could play through. Yeah, and you can and you get it. <laughs> the plot was in yeah. the end of two. You can pick up the heavies weapons, but usual Assassin's Creed rules, you can't carry them around for very long. Well, no, it's not unusual. It's because you can't carry anything other than swords permanently in this game. Uh, you could always sling it into a heavy pouch in three, actually. Yeah, actually you could. A and in Brotherhood, they introduced the heavy sheath. Oh, it's a courier. Our old friends. You know, in two, I can understand. In two, in Brotherhood, I can understand why Ezio would torment the Bur Borgia couriers. But these guys are just couriers. They run around. They're just people bringing stuff from one place to another. Yeah. In Revelations, I think he's just like, you know, I haven't tortured a courier in. Qu Did you just get a shanty yeah. by complete yeah, accident? Yeah, I got a shanty by complete accident. I had no idea that shanty was there until I got it. <laughs> I have the best luck with shanties this time. Yes, you too. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure in Revelations it's more like Ooh. I haven't tortured one of these fuckers forever. Yeah, okay. As long as you don't kill them, they're fine. Um, they're not really a thing in three, and they're not. Uh, they really aren't couriers in Unity. They're just. Um, Hey, we have explosive barrels. We can cause mayhem with them. Yeah. Now again, because I'm not directly killing people, this won't count against me. It's the barrel that's killing people, not me. Oh, I guess I'm gonna throw it at some British soldiers. Oh, that are guarding a goddamn piece of it. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, and now well. <laughs> explosive barrels are yeah. a, explosive barrels are about as useful as you think they would be in combat. They're a small target. You got people running around trying to hit you. Aiming is not exactly a thing. That can... Thankfully, the blast radius is pretty huge. He just killed himself with his own grenade. I hope you're happy. Well, actually, the explosive barrel killed the heavy, and then the heavy's grenade killed the big little guy. Uh, that's true. I wanted to get a double kill with the barrel, but it was not to be. You'll have plenty of chances later. I'm sure I will. And this is the world map in 1570. Uh, too bad they didn't go and look at the fucking... You know, uh, aside they didn't have the Assassin's Codex from two. Yeah, aside from and Eagle Vision. Uh, aside from North America being oddly shaped because they didn't know what was in Northwest North America, it's not bad. Fifteen seventy. No. Nope. All right, we're in Shanty Town. Oh, that woman is talking about not being a cheap Spanish harlot. Hmm. You all belong to the same guild anyway. I bet if I built a single brothel for you guys, you'd all let me hire you. For free. Yeah. And I'm just galvanating about because I can't really get a good grip on it. Mm. Unfortunately, yeah. the next video will only be 20 minutes long, so... Uh, I don't know, we'll see how things... I have to record more footage soon. Yeah. Alright. Well... Until next time.
Well, it's not over yet. Wait. What the? You've